let's talk about this, Scott. Tell us how an appraiser builds the case for valuation. What, what, what do they do? What's that process roughly right? We're not going to teach everybody how to be appraisers today, but what's the process by protocol, professional protocol, regulatory mandate, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA. What do you have to do to build the case that gets us to the final valuation? And it's gotten more and more complicated as you've hinted to all along this presentation uh, with a, a, a very downturn in the number of closed sales. So that makes the availability of sales uh, so much less. Um, you know, and people always ask, you know, can I just tell them a value? The value that we arrive at, it comes at the very, very last part of this process. But initial process is initial uh, research, looking for comparables and information in the neighbor in the area, then going out and visiting the property, actually measuring it for ourselves, doing our own uh, analysis, looking at all the other comparables, putting that all together in a report, and then making the appropriate adjustments back and forth. Uh, most appraisers are pretty good at that. They can um, search out the right properties. Where most people's appraisers fall short is analyzing the market and trying to determine what rate of appreciation is going on and how to apply that properly. And it's, it's a very difficult and challenging process. And as I said, you know, when uh, appreciation's gone from half a percent to a percent to two to three, you've really just got to really fine tune and, and key in on that to make sure that you're adjusting these properties as close as possible to what they'd be selling for in today's market.